Hi students, uh, welcome back to the online sessions. So, in the previous class, uh, we discussed about linear and non-linear systems. In the previous class, we discussed about linear and non-linear systems. So, I, I explained the complete concept regarding linear and non-linear systems and I have gone for some few examples, few examples regarding linear and non-linear and I have given some problems for your practice. So, now, today, in this class, we are going to discuss about time invariant and time variant systems. So, today's class is about time invariant and time variant systems. So, very very important concept uh, regarding your subject. So, that is time invariant and time variant systems. Time invariant and time variant systems. Okay. So, This one, time invariant and time variant systems. First of all, I will explain about time invariant. Time invariant and then I go for time variant. So, if you understand the concept of time invariant, then it is easy to understand the concept of time variant. So, now, what is time invariant? In generally, this time invariant is also called as shift invariant. Shift invariant, either time invariant or shift invariant generally time invariant time invariant is used for generally time invariant is used for continuous time signals and shift in invariant is used for discrete time discrete time signals so time invariant is generally used for used for continuous time signals whereas shift invariant is used for discrete time signals so we can call it the time invariant system or shift invariant system based on the in type of input and output signals based on the signals given to the system so if it is a continuous time signal then you can say that it is a time invariant if it is a discrete time signals then you can say that it is a shift invariant okay now what is time invariant what is the time invariant system if the system input output characteristics does not change with the time if the system input output characteristics do not do not change with time do not change with time that is that is simple simple logic is if there is any change in the input that the same change is occurred at the output then those type of systems are called as time invariant systems simple this is the simple way to explain what is time invariant system simply if there is any change in the input signal the same change will be applied at the output signal that is the input output characteristics do not change with respect to the time then those systems are called as time invariant systems so a system is said to be the time invariant system if the system input output characteristics do not change with the time so, if the system is said to be time invariant system, the input output characteristics do not change with the time. Do not change with the time. First thing. Okay. So, how we will explain generally? So, I can take an example and I will explain it generally. Simple. Change in input means whether there is a delay or advance in the input signal. If there is any delay or advance. If there is any delay in the input signal, then the same delay has to be occurred at the output. If there is some advance in the input signal, the same advance should occur at the output signal. Then those type of systems are called as time invariant systems. Now for your uh, general example, I will take a train. I will take a train as a general example, which will start, which will start at Guntur, which will start at Guntur. Okay. It has to start by the time 10 a.m. 10 a.m. and it has to reach and it has to reach Vijayawada and it has reached Vijayawada by 11. It has to reach Vijayawada by 11 o'clock. Okay. Now, now, so if there is a delay in the starting time of the train at Kuntu, if there is any delay in the starting time at Guntur. Actually the cut time is 10. At 10 o'clock it has to start from the Guntur station. But 
it started in Guntu station at 12, 10, 5. Sorry, 10, 5. Okay. It has to start from Guntu station at 10 o'clock, but it started at 10, 5. And at Vijayawada, Vijayawada, if it reached, if it reached Vijayawada by 11, 5, that is, there is a delay of 5 minutes at the input side and the same delay is occurred at the output side. So, the input output characteristics are not changing with the time. Hence, these type of systems are nothing but time invariant systems. Simple example. So, if there is a delay in the start of the train at Guntu station by 5 minutes and it has to reach the Vijayawada station after 5 minutes of the actual arrival time. Okay, it has actually it has to start by 10, but it started by 10.5. Actually, it has to reach by 11, but it reached Vijayawada at 11.5. So, there is a delay at Guntu station of 5 minutes. The same delay will be at the Vijayawada station. The same delay of 5 minutes is at the Vijayawada station. Then, you can say the system is a time invariant system. Simple logic. So, this is a simple logic to explain the time invariant systems. Let us consider, the, if the system input output characteristics do not change with respect to the time, then we can say that system has a time invariant system. That is, if there is any advance or delay at the input, the same advance and delay should be occurred at the output, then those type of systems are nothing but time invariant systems. For that, I have taken a general example as a train which has to start in Guntu station at 10 am and it has to reach Vijayawada by 11 am. But unfortunately, there is a delay of 5 minutes and the train started by 10.5. That is, there is a delay of 5 minutes and it started by 10.5 at Guntu station and it reached the Vijayawada station by 5 minutes delay. That is, it reached the Vijayawada station by 11.5. 11.5. So, the delay in the input is same as the delay in the output. Then those type of systems are called as time invariant systems. Okay, no change. That is, the system input output characteristics do not change with the time. Let us take simple. So, variant means time variant systems. It has to start by 10, but it started by 10, 5, and it has to reach by 11. In fact, it is reached by 11, other than 11, 5, other than 11, 5, at any time. Either if it reach by 11, 11, 1, 10, 55. So, if it reach by 11, then we can say that system is a time variant. So, I will explain it later. Now, because we are discussing about time invariant systems. Now, see this. The time shift in the input, uh, that is shift is either delay or advance. Time shift in the input results in corresponding time shift in the output. The time shift in the input results in the corresponding time shift in the output. Simply, if there is any delay or advance in the input, then that will result in corresponding delay or advance in the output. So, if there is a delay of 5 minutes in the input, then the output will be delayed by 5 minutes. If there is an advance of 5 minutes in the input, then the output will also be advanced by 5 minutes. Then those type of systems are nothing but time invariant systems. So, this is a simple logic. So, to get a uh, sound knowledge on how the time invariant systems will behave. Okay. Now, so this is after all we have explained in a theoretical way. Now, we can represent this in an equational form of mathematical equation. So, here the condition for time invariant systems is, so while we prove, why we, we have to prove the time invariant systems, so we have to do mathematically. For that, they had given the condition for our theoretical explanation. For the above theoretical explanation, we can give a mathematical equation also. Now, for that, the condition for time invariant systems is, so if you want to say a system has a time invariant system, it has to satisfy the condition, condition y of t comma m, I will explain what is y of t comma m, equal to y of t minus m, y of t minus m, very very important, y of t comma m equal to y of t minus m. What is this y of t comma m and y of t minus m? We all know that y of t is the output. That is, y is 
with respect to the outputs. Okay, y is with respect to the output. So y of t minus y of t is output actually. So here y of t comma y and y of t minus y. Two things. Now first, y of t comma y is nothing but transformed version of x of t minus y. Transformed version of x of t minus y. First of all, I have to know what is x of t minus y. X of t minus y simply x of t minus m is nothing but t minus m delayed if it is t minus m actual signal is x of t but here the signal is x of t minus m that is a delayed version that is the input signal is delayed by m seconds m minutes m units whatever it may be you may have it according to the problem we can go for so here the input signal is delayed by this much of time here this m represents the inputs if it is respect to time as in say above example i said a train has to start by 10 so x of t is 10 but x of t minus m that is it is delayed by 5 minutes okay 5 minutes so there the m is 5 minutes so if we want to represent it in terms of seconds we can say it is 5 seconds whatever it may be okay so based on the problem it will change so if this is delayed by 5 minutes or 5 seconds in the same way here it is delayed by m minutes or m seconds m minutes that is input signal input signal is delayed by m seconds let us consider it is delayed by m seconds okay now t of transformed version of the signal the transformed version of signal will give the output the transformed version of input is nothing but output here the input is input is a delayed by m seconds that is the delayed input here is i am taking the delayed input first i am taking the delayed input and i am transforming that and i am transforming that so the transformed version of the delayed input will give some output the transformed version of the delayed input will give some output that output is nothing but i am taking as y of t comma m so here i am taking this y of t comma m as an output which is nothing but the transformed version of a, a delayed input that is here the input is delayed by input is a delayed by m seconds or m minutes or m units you can call anything so here the input is delayed by m seconds so that delayed input is transformed to the output so that come that output is treated as y of t comma m so it is nothing but the output due to delayed input now next one here first one is this one next one y of t comma m already x of t comma m is it is input is delayed by input is delayed by m seconds In the same way y of t comma m is output is delayed by m seconds that is this is a delayed output delayed output the simple logic the simple condition for us for a system to say that it is a time invariant system is uh, y of t comma m equal to y of t minus m that is nothing much here y of t comma m is the output due to the delayed input output due to the delayed input output due to the delayed input must and should be equal to the delayed output simple the output due to delayed input the output due to delayed input must and should be equal to delayed output delayed output if these two are same that is if this act, equation is satisfied then we can say the system is time invariant system then we can say the system is time invariant system is it clear so i hope everyone have a, a sound knowledge on this one so now we can say what is an if anyone ask you what is an time invariant system simply you can say the system which does not change the system whose input out characteristics does not change with the time or nothing but the time invariant systems that is if there is a, any change in the input the time change in the input results corresponding time change in the output that is there is a time shift at the input side the same time shift will be occurred at the output side 
Okay, for that I have given a general example also. Now, so for this theoretical explanation, uh, there is a mathematical equation. Uh, if any system satisfies that mathematical equation, then that system may be termed as a time invariant system. So the condition for the condition for time invariant system is what is the condition? Y of t comma m equal to y of t minus sorry y of t comma m equal to y of t minus m. Here this m is a constant. We can take anything in place of m. You can take k. You can take l. Whatever it may be. So it is a constant. So for here I just taken as m. So y of t comma m is nothing but transformed version of delayed transformed version of delayed input. So if anything is delayed, then we can write the signal minus. Okay. So if the input is delayed, x of t minus the delayed value. Here the delayed value I taken as m. So x of t minus m. That is the delayed input. That is input is delayed by m seconds. Now the transformed version will give the output. So output due to the delayed input may be uh, written as t of x of t minus m, which is nothing but our y of t comma m. So here y of t comma m is the output due to delayed input. And y of t minus m, y of t minus m is the simple one, delayed output. That is here the output is delayed by m seconds. Here the output is delayed by m seconds. So if the output due to the delayed input is same as the delayed output is same as the delayed output then we can say the system is time invariant system then we can say the system is time invariant system so simply if the output due to the delayed input the output due to the delayed input is same as the delayed output the output due to the delayed input is same as the delayed output then we can say then we can say the system is time invariant system then we can say the system is time invariant system simple okay so this is the simple explanation okay now for time invariant system first i explained theoretically and i consider a general example and then i have given the mathematical equation to say whether the system is time invariant or not so if this mathematical equation is satisfied then we can say the system is time invariant okay so this is recording now now i explained you and i given the general example and i given the mathematical equation now the graphical representation for your better understanding i am going for the graphical representation example for time invariant system graphical representation example so graphical representation Say what I said for time invariant system. If there is any delay in the input, the same delay will be occur in the output. That is, the delay in the input result in the corresponding delay in the output. The delay in the input result in corresponding delay in the output. Or the advance in the input result in corresponding corresponding advance in the output. The change in the input results in the corresponding change in the output. The Amount of change that occurs at the input, the same amount of change has to occur at the output. Then those type of systems we may call as time invariant systems. For that I am giving the graphical representation. Let us take there is an input signal. Okay, so it is a step signal. It is a step signal. I will you will know what is step signal in the coming classes. So step signal. Now the system is time invariant. See here up to zero it is zero and at zero there is some amplitude and after that it remains constant with the amplitude for this input i am getting the output as this one this is the output this is the output a different shape but see so it is also up to zero it is zero and after zero there is some amplitude so after zero the waveform has started okay the waveform has started and for this constant this is getting some wave shape so for our x to get a, to give you an example they are taken input like this and they are taken output like this so if it is started zero then it is also started at zero now there is a change in input there is a change in input for time invariant systems the whatever the change at the input the same the same change should 
occur at the output also. Okay. So for that reason, instead of starting at zero, it is starting at some value. It is starting at some value. Instead of starting at zero, it is starting at some value. Okay. So instead of starting at zero, it is starting at this value, some value. So up to this value, it is zero. Of that, there is a raise in the amplitude, and of that, it is constant. Simple. It is shifted or it is delayed. Instead of starting at zero, it is at a 10. It is started at 10 five. Or it is started at zero. It started five minutes. Just delay. Now, now, if the same delay occurs at the output side also, generally this is the shape of the output. Shape of the output. So here it is started after five. That is m. So here we call it as m. You can take it as m. So this is also you can take it as m. So it started at m at the input side. So output side also it has started at the m. So the shape will be same. For the input that will be the output. Here the input has delayed by m seconds or 5 seconds. So the output will also be delayed by m seconds or 5 seconds. So if this 0 means this is also 0. And if this is 5, this is also 5. Or this is m, this is also m. Simple. Here this input signal is delayed, delayed by m seconds. So the output signal also delayed by m seconds. So the, there is no change in input output caching. That is, this system input output cache six do not change with the time. Do not change with the time. Hence, these type of systems are called as time invariant systems. These are called as time invariant systems. I hope you are all get a clear idea about this time invariant systems. Simple. Here the input is delayed by m seconds. The same. This is the input shape. This is the output shape. Input is delayed by five second or m seconds. So, the output is also delayed by 5 seconds. The same output. Here also, we get the same output, but with a delayed version. Because input is delayed by m second, the output will also be delayed by m second. So, the input output has do not change with time. Hence, we can say that system is a time invariant system. Okay? Time invariant system. Now, another example. Another example for another graphical representation. Example for time invariant system. See, here the input is this one. Input is this one. For this input, I am getting the output as this one. For this input, I am getting the output as this one. So here the input is starting at uh, 0. Here the input is input is starting at 0. So the output is also starting at 0 and it is going somewhere. Okay. For this input, that is the output. Now, for time invariant systems, the time invariant systems, here there is a delay of tau second. Delay of tau seconds. That is, instead of at 0, it is started at tau. So, the output, the shape of the output is will be same, but it should be delayed by the same tau seconds. Because, so how can you write? That is, x of t minus tau. In the previous uh, equation, I said that is m. Here, they have taken tau. You can take k, l, what it may be. So, this is a constant. You can take anything. So, in this example, they had taken tau as a value. So here the input is delayed by tau seconds. Consider tau seconds. Then we can write x of t minus tau. So for this the input is x of t minus tau. What is the output? Output will also have the same time delay. That is y of t will also have the same time delay. That is at the output we have to get y of t minus tau. So this is 0. It has to start at tau. So this is the shape of the output. This is the shape of the output. So, it has to start at tau. So, here it started and goes on. The shape will be same. Here it is started at 0. Here it is also started at 0. Here it is started at tau. Here it is started at tau. So, it is the input output time cache does not change with the time. The delay in the input is same as the delay in the output. That is, the input is delayed by tau second. That is x of t minus tau. So, the output will also be delayed by tau second. That is y of t minus tau. So, there is no change. That is, the input output cast 6 do not change with the time, hence this is also an example for your time invariant systems. So these are the two graphical uh, representation examples for your time invariant systems. So these are given for your better understanding. These are given for your better understanding. Okay. Now a time invariant systems. I will explain a small problem. Okay. So with this uh, you will get a clear picture. You can get the clear 
picture to this because up to now I explained the concept. So explain the concept. I have given a general example and I have given a mathematical equation for them and I have a graphical representation examples. Everything I had given. Okay, but for your better understanding, if you go for the problem solution, if you go for the problem solution, then you get a clear picture, clear picture about this time invariant systems. You will get a clear picture if you go for the problem solution. So I am taking a system. For that, I have to take a system as example. Here the system is y of t equal to x square of t minus 2. So the system is represented with the system is represented with this one y of t equal to x square of t minus 2 the system so here they have taken a system here they have taken a system the system is represented with y of t equal to x square of t minus 2 this is a simple system now we have to find out whether the system is time invariant or time variant i have given this as an example for time invariant system it is a time invariant system so for time invariant system what is the condition what is the condition for uh, theoretically, I can explain like this: the input/output characteristics do not change with the time. And the equation, the equation is, we all know, what is the equation for that one? Y of t comma m should be equal to y of t minus m. That means, that means, y of t comma m is nothing but y of, what is y of t comma m? Output, output. Why is out, output due to delayed input? Output due to delayed input. Delayed input can be written as x of t minus the constant value. So it is delayed by m seconds. We can write x of t minus m. So this is output due to delayed input. So output due to first I will write the delayed input. Delayed input is x of t minus m. So this is the delayed input. So this is the x of t minus m. Delayed input. Now I need the output due to this delayed input. So how can we get the, for any input? How can I get the output by transforming the input? There is a transformed version of input. That is P of P of transformed version of this input will give the output. So I am taking the output as y of t comma m. So here this y of t comma m is nothing but the output output due to the delayed input. So first I had, I had the input. Now I will delay the input by some m seconds. Then I will find out the output. Then I will find out the output. So that is nothing but the output due to the delayed input. That is written as y of t comma m. Second, I will find out directly delayed output. I know the output. I will delay the output by m seconds. Delay the output by m seconds. That will be written as y of t minus m. If both are equal, that is this delayed output is same as the output due to the delayed input, then I can say the system is time invariant system. So, first of all, we have we have to find out this one and this one. That is output due to output due to delayed input and delayed output. We have to find out both this individually and we have to see does both are equal or not. If both are equal, then we can say that is a time invariant system. So for that, first in the linear systems also, I explained you y of t is nothing but the transformed version of x of t because this is the output. Output is nothing but the transformed version of input. So y of t equal to transformed version of x of t. So which is equal to, which is equal to according to the problem, the y of t value is x square of t minus 2, x square of t minus 2, okay, this one, x square of t minus 2. Now see. So, I written the given problem as this one. So, the given problem is y of t equal to x square of t minus 2. Generally, y of t is represented as x transformed version of x of t. The output is nothing but the transformed version of the input. So, y of t is nothing but t of x of t. So, which is given to, according to the problem, which is given as x square of t minus 2. Okay, this is the given one. Now, I have to find first step. Output due to delayed input. That is, first I have to delay the input by m seconds here is the input by m seconds and then i have to find out the output of that one that is output due to delayed input so that is represented as y of t comma m i have represented as y of t comma m so that equal to that equal to 
ट्रांसफॉर्मड वर्शन ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मड वर्शन ऑफ x ऑफ t m यू ऑल नो दैट y ऑफ t का मैं अपनी सेटिंग में ट्रांसफॉर्मड वर्शन ऑफ x ऑफ t m एक्चुअली सी सो दिस इज यू थिंक दिस हैज द इनपुट सो द इनपुट इज डिलेड कंप्लीट x स्क्वायर ऑफ t 2 इज डिलेड बाय इज डिलेड बाय m सेकंड्स सो हाउ कैन यू राइट y ऑफ t y ऑफ t इज द आउटपुट एंड दैट आउटपुट इज डिलेड output is due to the delayed but inputs so here the input is delayed by m seconds input is delayed by m seconds so x of t equal to x of t minus m simple way in that y of t equation wherever we get the x of t so replace that x of t with the x of t minus m so in the equation of y of t in the equation of y of t in the equation of y of t wherever you get x of t wherever you get x of t that x of t will be replaced with x of t minus m that x of t will be replaced with x of t minus m so that is nothing but our output due to delayed input only one thing uh, take the given equation y of t in that equation wherever we get x of t replace that x of t with x of t minus m simple way so here in the above equation our equation is x square of t minus 2 x square of t minus 2 So this input is delayed by m seconds. So what can I write? X square of t minus two minus m. Because we we know this is, we have to replace x of t with x of t minus m. So simply, so according to the given equation, y of t is x square of t minus two. So what I have to write? X square of t minus two minus m. So this is the output output due to the delayed input so the input is delayed by m seconds i am treating here the constant as m so just i replace y of t with replace replacing x of t with x of t minus m i am writing y of t by replacing x of t with x of t minus m next delayed output i need the delayed output how can we get the delayed output simply we know the output y of t so delayed by m second because in the input also we delayed by m second so the output also delayed by same m seconds so y of t minus m how will write it? this is our y of t at t equal to t minus m remember these two things in the first case we have written y of t there what i have changed in place of x of t i have written x of t minus m that is complete x of t in place of x of t i am writing x of t minus m but here in this y of t i am replacing t with t minus m t with t minus m so here x square of t minus 2 minus m x square of t minus 2 minus m i got uh, what happens in this case so in this case i have to replace t with uh, t minus m so our y of t is this one so in this i have to replace this t with uh, t minus m so x square of i am replacing t with t minus m t minus m next minus 2 t minus m minus 2 see t minus m minus 2 so uh, the equation is x square of t minus m minus 2 so minus a minus b you can write anyway minus a minus b or minus b minus a so for that reason i written as x square of t minus 2 minus m see both are equal that is output due to the delayed input is same as the delayed output so see the equation x square of t minus 2 minus m is same as x square of t minus 2 minus m that is y of t comma m is same as y of t minus m simple the output due to delayed input is same as delayed output that is the system is time invariant system so by proving this we can say the system is a time invariant system so we have to prove y of t comma m equal to y of t minus m if the equation is satisfied we has we can say the system is time invariant simple logic so here we have to remember only two two things the first thing is in output due to delayed input output due to delayed input in y of t the x of t is replaced with x of t minus m hence i replaced this x square of t minus 2 x square of t minus 2 minus m in the second in delayed output we have to re, in in y of t in y of t we have to replace t with t minus m t with t minus m here we have to replace x of t with x of t minus m Here we have to replace t with t minus m. So here this is the equation. 
So in this equation, the t has to be replaced with t minus f. So x square of t minus f and go on simplification. If I simplified everything and at last, if the output what we got for delayed output is same as the output what we got for output due to delayed inputs, then we can say that the system is time invariant. So in this case, both are equal. That is output due to delayed inputs, output due to delayed input is same as the delayed output. So on simplifying, I got the both equations are same. Hence, this system is a time invariant system. So symbolic, remember this one. So in the first case, we have to replace x of t with x of t minus m. And in the second case, we have to replace t with t minus m. Okay. So, so this is the problem. And for your work, I am giving another example. Take this as an example. y of t equal to e power 2 into x of t. e power 2 into x of t. Consider this as a system. So we have to prove this system is an, we have to prove this system is a time invariant system. We have to prove the above system as a time invariant system. The same procedure, follow the same procedure what I followed here. So same procedure follow for this one also. So this is for your practice. Okay. So I will go for the summary of the class. So in this class what we have discussed. So the summary of the class. So I am going for summary. Summary of the class. So what we discussed in this class. First we started with what is time invariant time invariant and time variant so we discussed about time invariant and time variant systems mainly i concentrated in this class about time invariant system when the system is set to be a time invariant that is what i explained here that is what i explained here in this class and i gave a general example for the systems so which systems are called as time invariant for that i have given a general example and I given a mathematical condition, mathematical equation. So, to satisfy, if the condition is satisfied, then we can say that system is an time invariant system. So, I had given a general example and I given mathematical, mathematical equation for time invariant system. And I explained the complete concept. So, for your better understanding, I had taken a system as an example. So, I had taken a system as an example. And I mathematically solved the system and finally I proved the system is a time invariant system. So I given an example, I taken an example and I solved and I know, I showed you the procedure how to prove a system is a time invariant system and finally I had given another example for your practice. So this is today's topic. Thank you. Thank you one and all.